It is the most famous product in the world, and every day over a billion people drink it. We're talking about Coca-Cola, and whether you like it, love it, or hate it, you have to admit that it has a unique taste. We will show you what you can do with it besides drinking. There are crazy, ingenious, but also rather off-putting things. Welcome to Wonderland. Enjoy this video and write us in the comments which of these experiments you find the most interesting and maybe even want to try yourself. Let's start with a classic, Coke and Mentos. Yes, you probably already know what happens when you throw one or more pieces of Mentos into a Coke bottle. The Mentos candy dissolves within seconds, and a cola fountain shoots out of the bottle. The more Mentos you take, the more massive the explosion. But what exactly is happening? Coke contains a lot of carbon dioxide, so when a Mentos candy is thrown in, the carbon dioxide reacts on the rough surface of the Mentos and tons of bubbles are created. These bubbles form the foam, which then shoots out of the bottle as a fountain. By the way, this process of explosion is also called nucleation. Some YouTubers found the classic Coke Mentos fountain a bit too boring. They wanted to develop a real cola bomb, so they took a simple watermelon, opened it, and filled it with cola then tied it with tape and threw a few Mentos into it. But as you can see, the explosion didn't really work. A Russian YouTuber shows how to do it right. You have to leave the Coke in the bottle and then just place the bottle in the watermelon, add some Mentos, and then this happens. For some time now, there have been YouTube videos in which people try to cut through Coke bottles with a heated knife. But the bottle is not empty, it is filled completely with cola. What happens when you cut a cola bottle with a hot knife, we see in this video. The knife is first heated under the flame of a Bunsen burner, and suddenly it cuts through the bottle cap like butter. When cutting through the bottle, the Coca-Cola even starts to boil immediately. In this video, a hot knife is not used, but rather a samurai sword. With one clean stroke, YouTuber Slowmoverse cuts through three Coke cans at once. But you can't just drink Coca-Cola or destroy its bottle spectacularly. It can also be used to dissolve things. Numerous YouTube videos show what happens when you let various things sit in a Coca-Cola bath for a long time. A YouTuber put an unpeeled egg in a bowl full of Coca-Cola and then locked it in the cupboard. He left it there for a whole year, and when he opened it and looked for the egg, he immediately noticed that the shell of the egg had completely dissolved in the Coke. And even crazier, the egg is now completely black. The dye of the cola entered the egg white over time. But even crazier, but also clearly more frightening, is the experiment of YouTuber Mike Slain. He recently had his wisdom teeth extracted. Mike took this as an opportunity to test what happens to his teeth when you soak them into Coca-Cola. After just one day, they begin to turn black at the edges. After four days, they are already partially dissolved. And after 10 days, they are almost completely black and hardly recognizable as teeth. The culprit for the bad condition of the teeth, apart from all the sugar, is the phosphoric acid in the cola, which attacks the tooth directly. But the acid in Coca-Cola also has a positive benefit. It makes the cola a very good cleaning agent. In this video, dirty pennies are immersed in a glass of Coca-Cola for a few hours. The acid in the drink helps to loosen the dirt from the pennies. 
After exactly four hours, the dirty coins are completely clean again. Next, we have for you a very crazy, but also pretty cool use for Coca-Cola. Maybe some of you still know the so-called lava lamps, which are filled with a special liquid in which bubbles constantly form and move. You can actually do something like that with Coca-Cola. All you need is a half full bottle of cola, which you then fill to the top with oil. The oil and the cola do not mix, by the way, because the oil is lighter than the liquid of the cola. Finally, you add several effervescent tablets put the bottle under a lamp, and then it is ready! The Coca-Cola Lava Lamp! Now, let's move on to the last cola experiment for today, and this is something you can do relatively easily at home. You only need a cola bottle and some gelatin powder. You simply mix three packages of gelatin in 50 milliliters of water. Then, you take the cola and fill it into a bowl, add the gelatin, and stir diligently. The liquid you then fill back into the cola bottle. Put it in the fridge for exactly one hour. Then, take it out again, cut the bottle with scissors, and you have cola jello! What do you think? Would you like to try this? And which other experiments in our list did you find the most interesting? Write it down in the comments! That's it with Wonderlane for today. See you next time, here at Wonderlane.